What's going on everybody? Travis with the RAC Garage and this video I'm going to be working on 32.3 window. That's it. That's right. I'm doing it. Glad it wasn't too long yeah. of a drive because, uh, yeah, it's super safe and secure. Yeah, we picked up a flagpole on the way home. Yep. Oh, yeah. What do we got here? So, front and rear end, 36 Ford. Look at that. Shock mount from back in the day. <laughs> you should have seen the shock mount on the frame. The shocks still work. Really? <laughs> Do they work too well? I don't know. They work pretty good. But that's good. I don't have any rear bones for my uh, 32. So here's some 36 rear bones that I might use. This cap's really nice. And I think I need the drive shaft from this guy. Maybe. No, I can't use this one. They taper. You can't, can't weld it back together. It's like, yeah, it's weird. The 40s don't taper, right? People use these as exhaust headers. Oh, for the, like the tube the inside, style. the actual drive shaft. The yeah. They use it for the like the lake style headers that come yeah. off the side. Yeah. yeah. That's what uh Joe has. So, uh, yeah. Unfortunately these front drums are useless, but the rear drums can be used. Yeah. For juice brakes. Which is nice because you know rear drums are always a pain to find. Yes. I don't know how good they are. But what well, else? Not amazing, but... You got a set of fenders. Yeah. Yeah, this one's pretty bad just thin everywhere but then like you know on this one you gotta hammer that flat it's all still there only hole in the whole thing is right here yep so cut that out to a pretty simple patch and all steering box and column column drop and you know of course no key but oh somebody cut it already too well, that's that's neat <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess that column drop is useless. Um, yeah, it's not going to hold too much weight. No. Before it snaps. Huh? You know. Horn button. Are those the same on the... No. Yes, the horn button for the deluxe, the banjo is the same. Okay, that's cool. That's good then, you know. It's in pretty good shape. I don't even know how well the thing works. Not great. Well, it's hitting this. I don't think it's that bad. A little crusty. Yeah. I think... I don't know how these mount up. Oh, no. Yeah. These mount like a Model A, and 36s mount like a 40. Or like a 36. It mounts to the side of a frame in a bracket. So I think that... I think I have a... Um... But I can use the 32 housing. I can take these four bolts off. Put the 32 style one on it. Yeah. And call it a day. That's all I need to do. And then, uh. I might use that green. Oh, wait, then I need to one reverse that I the have. box. Yeah, I need to reverse the box. If it's sticking out that way, take a left. Oh, no. And take a right. No, right turns it left. Yeah. I have to reverse the box again, like I did with the parts. But that's not that hard. It's funny. I need to cut my nails. I feel them scraping on stuff. It's fun, especially on aluminum. There's something about aluminum and like scraping your fingernail up against it. It just hurts when you drag your fingernail across aluminum. <sighs> Okay. There it is. And this is cast, so this is probably not gonna go back together. I could braise it, I guess. It's a quite a bit out of that thing. 
Yeah, they took a torch. All right, let's see if we can't kill ourselves unloading this, uh, these stupid axles. Yeah. No, good axles with nice yeah. wishbones and wheels and shit. But, you know. Heavy. I wish my back wasn't still sore from picking up my car, but. Yeah, we gotta pick up the front of our axle. <sighs> Yay! Okay. Got some other stuff. Stuff I stashed in the in the tool bag. Yep. I stole. No. Very useful mirror right there. It's a mirror for what's in front of you. What's this one? Signal stat. Those are cool. Burnout proof. Fuel. Fuel temp. Still want a water temp. Ooh. It's an electron electronic one, six volt gauge. So yep. probably useless. You never Amps. Know. Hey. <laughs> I'm yeah, cleaning the glass. Somebody ripped out the temp gauge somehow. <laughs> yeah, nice job, whoever did that. Of course the amp, the only oh. That's why they had this. Because the temp was broken probably. Good thing they broke the temp because uh got a Stuart Warner gauge out of it. Yeah, right. Other than that, um, you know. Broken brackets. Broken brackets, random hardware. Yeah, nice fine thread hardware that I shouldn't keep, but I did anyway. All right, where's up with the camera? I think I'll just hold it, and then you can do this. Yeah, hey. <laughs> yeah I got it. This will be the first time I had to unload something heavy by myself. It's got Coopers on it. Nicest part of the truck. No, that one wheel's gonna be Because we're on that. We weren't, though. What do you mean? We weren't on the wheel well. Yeah, because it kept sliding and then it just like slowly worked its way up there. Yeah. Well. I'm thinking oh. of getting it off the wheel well. We're gonna have to slide Stand it. this up and slide that out. We... Or slide this out? I'm thinking slide this out just a little bit and then push it that way. You know what I mean? Does this get heavier? I think it lighter. Hold on. I feel like my legs are die. Okay. That was heavy. Okay. We should probably get walk this down. Huh? Walk this down. A little bit. That's that window smashing distance. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna get, get on the glove. other side and move the. Huh? I'm gonna get a glove. I'm gonna pick up the spring. You hold that side, and I'll just boop, put yeah. it down. Put in a good old fashioned hubcap dent in that thing. A humdinger. A humdinger. That's where that came from, actually. <laughs> no. I don't doubt it. it might be. Okay, I'm gonna have to move the front end. Here. Yeah. Humding that thing over a little bit. That's right. humdong. That's why we didn't go anywhere. Okay, hold this again. Alright, I'm dang it. Should be able to humding it. It's just a rear axle, right? <laughs> Brakes and tires add a lot of weight. You got that? I'm, I'm drop. Stand I'm it up. Trapped. So I can't. Oh. What do you mean set it up? I was gonna grab it. Hell, if I can get rid of the 2002 and put the trailer where the 2002 is right now. Put oh, and so then, a lot of these small wheels and tires in it. And then you have a storage forever. And we have a car with a hitch. I do. That way, so I can get my arms around the tire. Well, let's go. Yeah. I'm just gonna drop this side. Then we just pick that side up. Is it? 
You keep pushing on the pole. Well, I don't know where you're trying to go. Let's put, try to put it down so we don't have to. Oh, okay. Leave it six floor? Leave it standing up. No, that's coming. Estes. More shit? Quality merchandise, I think. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. No, I just I tore the box open. Oh. All right, we got a box. From my buddy Charles. Huh. Look at that. Hell yeah, dude. Just in the box. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, that uh other way. Flip it up. Yeah, what do you mean? put the other way. Nope. That what? goes up, what you just had. Like this. Now up. Yes. Yeah. Like that. As well as I think this is good yeah. or because that's look at look at right there. The top. Oh yeah. That's what that is. This is yeah, but but nicer. And they're yeah. in about the same shape. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got some pieces, chunks missing out of the bag. Yeah, whatever. It's there. Yeah. Oh, somebody commented and was like, oh, will you sell that Model A back half? <laughs> I laughed. Did you answer them? Yeah. I was like, yeah, Model A back half. All right. This thing's... Costs almost as much as my whole fucking Model A body. Yeah, <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it's missing a little something to be a Model A back half. Yeah. The window's gonna start like right where that beat is actually. Pretty much. All right, for poops and laughs. Poops and laughs. Hmm, it has some patchwork here. Maybe it was not as successful as they were hoping. No, it got hit. Oh yeah, that is. From up there, it looks like a weld, but it's a... It's a crinkle. It, uh, somebody did one of these. Yeah. So this did one of those. So now that... Don't, don't fit. fit. <laughs> don't fit at all. Okay. So yes, this is for sale, and it's great. <laughs> <laughs> no, unfortunately still keeping it. Unfortunately, still keeping it. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to undo every spot weld to hold this on. Straighten it out. Are you pretty much using this for the gutter and maybe a little bit of the quarter? I'll probably like reshape the quarter. Once this is out, it'll be easier to fix this. Yeah. And this. And this. Yep. And this. And, and then put it back together. That's a shame. It is a shame. I this thought I could just like pop this thing. I didn't realize how tweaked this thing was. Yeah, it's not straight anywhere. No. A lot of money on something that is almost useless. It happens. I learned. Buyer beware. Yeah. Yeah, I can see now the whole thing. Yeah, let's see if you can get that in the camera. Super tweaked. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. Locked, right? Huh? Oh. You're gonna pull yourself over like that. <laughs> How about we just get like a hammer and a dolly and flatten that thing out? Yeah, it's still, still crooked.
You get the idea? Yeah. <laughs> That's where it goes. And this one's out this way. Oh, so we got them. They're both going the same way. Man, this thing really got hit. I wonder how. How does it get hit like that? But there's not like that it, much damage. There's no support in these cars. Well, I mean, the lower few inches is cut off this thing. I bet you it got hit down here. I was not pointing the camera where I was pointing. You know, got hit around here maybe where they cut it off. The whole thing sideways? Maybe. I mean, because this is where there's the most leverage and there's no big dents in this thing. You know, the thing could have rolled, honestly. It could have. That doesn't look like anything like, yeah. This looks like more than just it's been sitting around for a while and been moved a lot. Well, you know, whatever. Yeah, it doesn't really matter how it happened. It's the way that it is right now, and we have to do something about it. Yeah, I can't change it. All we got to do is take it apart, fix it, put it back together. Yeah. It's the only thing we do. What about the other one? Yeah, that is what we do. No, uh, There's nothing there. There's nothing there, I wonder... How far off it is? Like, how much they cut out? Yeah, how much did they cut out? Not as much as we thought. Okay, they, it's fine. They only cut out the part that matters. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. She looks like a car right now, though. I know. I kind of want to, like, figure out how to clamp it together. Oh, it looks really cool. Does it? Yeah. I can't see. I well, can, but... you can see it when you edit it tonight. Good texture right in there. <laughs> yeah, pretty good stuff today. Front fenders for my car. Wishbones for your car. There's a big piece of cardboard, huh? Packed it well. You did. Is there something in that box? There is that... it is. Open it. Oh, there's metal in here. There's something in there. Oh. These, these seem like cow feet. Oh, this thing's really sharp, huh? No. <laughs> I need to sharpen my clock so I can daily carry that again. It's a good knife when it's sharp. Yeah. But since it's just 110 steel, it dulls out fast. Oh, rubber hinges. hinges. Yeah. You know what? That's cool. how we that's how we got it to uh, to fit in the box smaller. Yeah. Because we had the issue. So you just of, took the hinges uh, off and oh, yeah. cool. That's nice. Yeah. Can you use these as trunk? No. But it's always good to have, you know? Yeah. Maybe do one of your cars that are rumble and I could. Why not? Good way to save some time and money and shipping and I'm really junk. on this thing though. First things first, you know how I like to do little things, knock them out just to kind of, you know, get started into a project. I really haven't done anything on this car other than just kind of put stuff on and together. Um, so, got a deck lid skin and uh, part of the inner structure from a good friend now named Charles. Um, so thank you, Charles, for that. I still gotta hammer out him a roof insert for a 32.3 window, that's kind of the trade. So, what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna take care of this and this. And this.
Whee! I'm over here asking myself why this is welding like shit, and I'm like, oh wait, because it is shit. just one patch you know needs to be buzzed in but you get the gist um, you know I, I don't feel so bad about using that crap because everything around it is the same thing so not too big of a deal um, I want to get this blasted once I'm like mostly done with everything so so yeah um, I'm not too worried in between the weld's gonna be fine because it's just freshly cut. The weld's gonna be fine because it's clean, and we're gonna blast it off. Um, so let's move on. Fully weld this up, then move to this guy, or I don't know, I might file it off. Not sure yet. Christmas. Either I'm dipping it, too hot, blowing through. This is gonna be a fun car to fix, I can tell you right now. Not
All right, so that's uh, that's this patch. All done. Probably go on to this guy. <laughs> I don't have a crappy piece of metal for this, so I'm gonna have to use a nice one. <sighs> Such a drag, huh? All right, back on this tonight. Uh, work is over, so now work starts. 32, three window. So, as you saw, I got that done. You probably saw it two seconds ago because this is the clip right after. And I got this. I need to, you know, do my thing here. File off that weld, planish it, Bob Gironti. Um, and then, probably going to do this guy. Even though I don't want to, you just get the roof done. Just no dilly-dallying, Travis. Just get the roof done. And then I can work on some other stuff. That being probably some cracks and such. I didn't notice a huge, you know. The same thing I was on the other side. I don't know what the heck it is. Um, but that's why I made this one in such a weird shape. Is because that same big glob of weld was right here. So I kind of just made it bigger to kind of do two at once um you know if i saw that earlier i probably would have done the same thing here look a big egg shape this way but you know i didn't see it This one's all set. Uh, you know, work them away. Now this guy's up next. Kind of wish I did this guy out of good steel, but whatever. Kind of can't tell. Kind of looks like the rest of the car. Ain't going nowhere anyway. Whatever. Um, this one. Someone cut this out really nicely. Um, so I kind of wonder what the heck this was. Got the right contour on this thing. Now I just got to trim the edges a little bit so they fit in the corners because they actually did a nice job on that cut and rounded all the corners. So it makes it easy for me to weld this back in.
right, so I got this guy in here. Um, you know, up here is a low because someone boiled a dish in the trunk. Um, I don't feel like hammering Dolly in that. You'll see from the back. You can see from the back, there's like a low right there. Big low here. I'm guessing it's trunked it up there. I'm gonna use a planching hammer on that. I don't feel like hammering Dolly in that, but I'm not gonna do it now. Dark out, dark out, dark, late. Not gonna make a bunch of noise. So I'm gonna kind of move on. Um, I think I wanna get this overlap crap off of the back here. I think, honestly, somebody had a filled trunk lid in this car. That was kind of common back in the day. I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, I like it on some things, but I like a usable trunk. That takes Bondo off. So here we are next morning um, looking at this stuff. Man, is this gross. Naz. It's going to get cut out for sure. I was just maybe a little hopeful that there was something under here that was all right. This being overlapped the way it is, or the way it was, didn't bode well for the metal underneath it. So. Uh, especially being outside and yada yada. So yeah, I'll probably just continue to cut this side just because. Uh, you know, start with original metal everywhere and see see what that gets us. I do wanna. That's <sighs> tough. I'm gonna have to make this half this bead profile uh, because. I gotta make the uh, the tiny little whatever you call it tulip panel that's on these cars. I'll show you on this other one. So I gotta make this guy, and uh, yeah, so I'm probably just gonna cut this bead in half. I'll make a profile this flat and this bead, and uh, you know, kind of go from there. I don't know exactly. Is this folded right over? Oh, wow. That's kind of crazy. There's a hem about this big. And then it goes down to a flat. That's kind of complicated. All right. Well, that's going to be fun to figure out. Uh, but yeah, I need to make that because I need to make this. And then I need to, you know, I take some measurements of how long this material is. How long it is here to the bead, how long it is here to the bead, how long it is here to the bead. Kind of transfer that over and then make this again. So it shouldn't be too bad. At least I have some sort of, uh, you know, blueprint there. I wish I had a nicer one though, honestly. Because both of the back halves I have are... Destroyed. I was thinking about using that back half, like cutting it up here, cutting it halfway through the bead, then splicing that whole uh, gutter in, which, you know, honestly, I might still do. I don't know. I'll think about it. But the, uh, 
the quarters on those are tweaked. One's tweaked out and the other one's tweaked in. Like it got hit probably from the back there. As you saw, it was a little wrinkled in the corners. So I'd have to take that apart anyway. Not sure what I'm going to do. That, that might be kind of cool to put that trunk gutter section in here. Um, and that'll really just tie everything together. But at the same time, I don't know if I want to do that. Eh, whatever. Um, I'm going to get back on this tonight. Um, you'll probably see that. I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet. Uh, since I'm making... Since I'm making a roof insert, I'm really not going to worry about these cracks along the edges, um, any of these boogers along the opening. Um, you know, just going to make an insert probably all the way to here. Same with the back. I might make the back one all the way to like here, just so I can get rid of this crack altogether. That cutout over there, I can totally get rid of that. Maybe just weld up a crack or two um you know work it that way but yeah then i need to work on oh, so much stuff i need the sub rails i need sub rails bad um so one of these cars needs to sell well that one is sold spoiler alert model is sold i think maybe i said that already i don't know going to england Waiting on payment, wire transfers are the worst. Uh, so I'm waiting on that. And somebody said they were interested in the 40. Uh, so I don't know if they're coming down to look at it. Also, I think the 2002 might be going soon too. So it might be like clean driveway. Um, but then I can bring the roads to pick up back. Um, this can get running spring cleaning i guess i know it's getting rid of all the cars but cool stuff is coming don't worry 